Welcome to this example Solid Mastermind training video for Solid Edge with Synchronous Technology. Solid Mastermind is the complete online solution for all of your Solid Edge training needs and support questions. In the following few minutes, you will see some very short examples of the Synchronous Technology update training material. The complete series of training material is available to members of Solid Mastermind. This next preview is part of the second part modeling session and shows how the thin wall feature is used in a synchronous model. The thin wall command allows you to hollow your 3D model out and apply a wall thickness to it. The command will work in two ways. The object action workflow involves picking a face or faces on the model first and then selecting the thin wall command. Using this method Solid Edge assumes that the face we had selected is the one that we want left open. The other workflow is action object. This is where the command is selected first and then you identify which faces are left open. The thin wall command is completely controlled via the quick bar, a graphical handle and the value field that is in the graphics area. Notice that the quick bar is currently open and the open faces option is set to show we are currently in the mode of selecting open faces. We'll select the top face in this instance. By default the command will offset the part inwards by the value that is shown in the heads up value field. If you want to offset the part outwards simply click on the graphical handle to toggle the direction. Let's set the thickness of this part to be 5mm by typing the value into the field. While still in the command, another option in the quick bar allows faces to be selected that we want to remove from the influence of the thin wall. Here we'll select the half round bosses on the right of the part. This is four surfaces in total. Notice how they are not part of the thin wall any longer. Let's undo this operation and redo it without removing the bosses to see the difference. The edit workflow for a thin wall is limited to changing the thickness value only. This is achieved by selecting the thin wall feature either from Quick Pick or from the Pathfinder, then selecting the Edit Definition handle and then typing in a new value for the thickness. During this process, if the thin wall feature is selected and then one or more surfaces are selected, it is possible to assign a unique thickness value for these surfaces. We can see this here as we set the thickness around the boss to 10 millimeters. Now when the thin wall feature is selected, there are two edit definition handles since we have two different thicknesses. It is possible to run the thin wall command multiple times during the construction of a model. This is sometimes necessary if additional geometry is constructed which we need to be part of the thin wall structure. To illustrate this, let's display a couple of sketches that we can use to add some geometry. Firstly, we'll add an extrusion to the bottom of the part. Since this was added after the first thin wall command was run, it is a solid block of material and not hollow. Now we'll run the thin wall command again. Notice how the quick bar has an add function. This allows us to identify additional faces for the thin wall. Here we can select the faces that make up the extrusion on the bottom of the part. Once the faces are selected correctly, the second thin wall feature is created. The thickness value for additional thin walls can be different to the original thin wall if required. Going through the same process, we'll add an extrusion to the side of the part and then identify the faces to add to the thin wall in the same way as before. However, in this scenario, since the top of the extrusion is coincident with the top of the part, we also need to identify the open face again. We now have three instances of the thin wall feature in the Pathfinder one for each time we have run the command. Selecting one of the instances will allow us to edit the definition of the thin wall for those faces, as we can see here by changing the value to 10 for the material on the side of the part. The thin wall features are considered as procedural features. This means they retain their knowledge of their attributes even during edits. We can see this in action as we adjust the position and angle of the outside face. The inside faces remain at the correct offset at all times. 